Hello guys, and today we are going to unbox this piece of art that is A Feast for Odin from Ewer Rosenberg. The first thing that catch my eye about this game was the art. I mean, I just look at it and I really, I, I, I felt I need to have this box just to keep it on my shelf because it's just pretty. And I am a sucker for, uh, indeed, I have to admit, for beautiful boxes. I sometimes just want a game without knowing about this content. But I did some research about this one. It's a more difficult one. I am a beginner in this, in this world, so I guess this one will take some time for me to get used to it. But I believe it will be a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's go for the unboxing. So like I said in the intro, this is a Ewer Rosenberg uh, game, um, A Feast for Odin, and you can see immediately, I mean, look at this, look at this box, the art on it uh, just makes you want, I mean, at least me, it was the first thing that made me want to, maybe not to want to play the game, but to be interested about the game. And then I saw some walkthroughs and, and so on, and uh, indeed uh, was something that I found that could be quite complicated, but I was interested anyway. But this is not a review, this is an unboxing, so let's go. Um, here I show you the side of it, and this is the main cover, and here is the other side. This is actually, I think, the same guy that is in the cover of the Norwegians, uh, which is an expansion for uh, Fist, uh, Fist for Odin, so I, I think it's this guy, but not sure. So here the top. Just the title, like that, and the bottom, which is also a fist for Odin. And now, finally, the back. So, this box is quite heavy. Uh, this will take space on your shelf, and uh, the footprint is quite big and also quite heavy. So, you can hear there is uh, the components shuckling around. I'm sorry if you hear some external noise, there's a manifestation going on. So, I'm sorry for that. I don't need a knife to open this uh, because I, are, I see that there is already an opening here. Um, I don't know if you are able to see, but this is a game that can be played from 14 years old. Uh, it can be played from 1 to 5 players and it lasts 30 minutes per player. Which uh, I think all of this, besides the number of players that you can play the game, the, the age and the time is very, it, it varies from people to people. I bet uh, that my first game will take at least two hours, even if I play solo. So, uh, just the rule book, I think it will take me a week uh, to go through it. So, without further ado, let's just open this baby up. Like I said, there's a manifestation outside, they are uh, doing drums, which I think could be also a good mood for this video because we are talking about Vikings, so the drums could be a, a cry for war, so yeah, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, to justify it, but I, I really don't have another moment to do this video, so I'm sorry for the background noise. So in the back you see kind of a description of a very light description of what you can expect from this game which is delve into the world of Vikings and dabble in trading, hunting, raid, riding, uh, pillaging, plundering and raiding some more. Build houses, explore new worlds and every round have a feast in Odin's name. In this great strategy game, Hewer Rosenberg lets you relive a bygone era. The large variety of actions and occupations uh, warranties your nor northerners long-lasting fun with each game creating a new world on your player board. A big viking box full of components and possibilities. That's just what we want and what we need. So let's go turn this baby around. <laughs> yeah, I'm not just making this noise because, because I'm weak but this is really heavy. So let's see what we find inside. I mean, the art, which is this. And here we have uh, some publicity about other games. 
So we get already here, I guess this is some wood uh, meeples. Maybe it's not in focus, I'm sorry for that, my camera doesn't focus automatically. Um, and we have, I uh, think, a moose in here. So, all right. Uh, here I don't really know what the, this might be, I'll check after in the rule book, but this is what you can see, a bunch of other components like this. And here uh, some grey and blue components, which I believe it might be some kind of resources but all of that will be in the rule book some extra uh, plastic bags to probably keep the punch components and some dices so i guess like this maybe i'll have to do a, a zoom in later here what is this uh, ah good i love this okay this is something that i really love that when games have their own uh, kind of insert and here in this case you don't tell it only have one but you have two which is great i really appreciate this thing this kind of things in a in a game i mean like that i don't have to worry about getting new inserts and i don't have to do it i do my own inserts this this is good enough for me i don't need anything else so, and it comes with two leads. So you have here one and two. So quite well attached to each other. So this is perfect. Let's put them aside. Then we have a bunch of cards. Um, here, I don't really know what is uh, what cards are these. I will check after. These are cards that say, um, some kind of action so we'll see all of this i guess it comes described in the rule book here you have i guess some score sheet which i don't really like um i mean or i don't really need because i'll finish by not using them i will i will i'll probably use uh an, a, a, um, an extra sheet of paper or i'll use my my tablet uh, with Excel or I probably what I'll do is that I grab one and I um, how do you call it I, I plastify it uh, and like that I can use uh, uh, another type of pen that you can erase and reuse it I'm not really a fan of scoreboards because they have a limit and yeah um, yeah I just don't really like them and then we have the board or for part of the board like that, like so this is part of it really pretty and this is the back also really pretty the art on this game is i find it super pretty maybe some people don't like it but i find that it's super super nice and then we have the almanac <laughs> to the game when when something is called the almanac it's already a sign that you're ready for a, for a treat and finally the rule book so great uh, i have some uh, reading to do let's see if the almanac has the component lists yeah you have everything in here wow such a nice almanac actually it really it looks really nice all these these drawings of the of the components are really uh, I didn't ever saw a rule book like this. Really, really pretty. So this is kind of um, uh, how to say it's it's when you find something and you, you you don't know what it is, you can go alphabetically in the almanac and you'll find. For example, if you if you see the word ra um, plundering. You look for P and you go and see what is a plundering and then you can see that is a collection of cash, uh, Danegeld or natural resources under uh, duress via threat of burning the region down. So yeah, whatever. And finally we have the rule book. And here in the rule book, yes, in the rule book you have uh, all the components, uh, description, 
which I will not read, but you have the before your first game. This is nice. I like when a game has this, the setup. And the general overview, and then you can go ahead and start. So this rule book has 23 pages. Ah, you have the solo game variant here. Okay. Smaller than the rest, so let's see. I'll probably play this game most of the time solo. So this is interesting. So this has, this has 24 pages, and the almanac has... 20 pages, so it has some reading to do. And then you have the appendix, great. All right, you have really some reading to do. Uh, if you don't like reading, uh, well, don't get this game. This has 16 pages, so this is as much as the walkthrough of Journeys in the Middle Earth from Lords of the Rings. And then you have the rest of the map. Wow, this is so pretty really so pretty you see here the tiny people it's it's really nice honestly really nice such a such a quality i don't regret at all to spend the money that i spent because you have the quality and when you spend money on something that brings quality and also for me this is big, really important these inserts i i find that uh, it's money well spent and i mean you cannot go wrong with fist for odin i guess uh, it's a game that will uh, hold this value and even if you decide to sleeve the cards and if you don't like these inserts and you decide to upgrade the inserts there's always uh, a way to if you don't like the game to resell it on a, a better price and then we have all the punch boards that are quite tight so let's take them all oh my there is a lot of punch boards. Well, I'm being stupid because I could simply do like this. The lazy way or the smart way, whatever you guys want to call it. And so here I'm going to put it this like this. Uh, it will be easier to show all of the components. So here we, it's, I'm just going to show because I have no idea which components are these, but here they are. Some boats, some fruit. Will be fun to punch all of these some armor i guess and clothes some cows and materials more clothes and materials i have to say all these components look gorgeous they really look good and it has a lot of them <laughs> This will be fun to punch. It's always fun to punch. I, uh, it's 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 kind of relaxing. So here we have more animals. And this wow! I wonder what it, what this is. Okay, cool. And we have here the Shetland and faraway islands. Oh, like this. We have Iceland and Greenland. And we are getting to the end. Ah, one of them fall, fell, sorry. And it should be like this. So this, uh, kind of like this. And this is what? I have no idea. So let's start to punch these babies, these babies out. And let's see how they will all fit in here. Of course, if you don't want to watch this uh, this punching, you can always skip to the end. Um, but this might be just <laughs> relaxing to watch. I always like to watch this kind of uh, videos. on one type of component at a time I have to say that they come quite nicely from the punch holes it's not the case on every punch board that uh, that I punched <laughs> uh, 
because the one that comes to my memory recently was um, uh, Nemo's War. I really felt that when I was punching it, I was punching uh, cheap cardboard. And yeah, I mean, might be relevant for some people, uh, but I see the quality of the components and the, of, and the material when I'm punching them. And when I see that something is coming out quite nicely, I, uh, I feel an extra excitement about playing the game because the components are, are so, so good that uh, it improves my experience with, uh, with the game. If I'm playing the game and I feel ouch, and I feel that the component uh, is average. Yeah, uh, it will not prevent me from playing the game, but I feel that it was not, oops. It was not that, so this was nothing special. And yeah, we were in these ones. I have no idea what this is. This has some boat drawings. Later. Here. I don't believe this has any order, so you can just put them uh, in any square that you feel uh, like to, I guess. Didn't check the rule book uh, as you saw to see if there was any kind of um, disposition order. But this this is enough for me, you know. This is this is just uh, perfect. I don't need fancy uh, cardboard or or, or, uh, or other material or wood uh, components this if a game brings this it's it's more than enough and the games that uh, that I have that have this kind of uh, uh, inserts are games like Mage Knight um, it has their own insert the ultimate edition at least I have no idea how it is with the with the normal edition but the ultimate edition comes with their own inserts, which is great. Um, uh, Nemesis also comes with their own inserts. Then uh, Lisboa uh, also comes with their own inserts. And from all the games that I have, I mean, the ones that come with inserts, I think that's all of them. Um, one big disappointment was Last Ruins of Arnak. That game comes with nothing. It comes with plastic bags and that's it. And even in, even like that, I don't think the plastic bags are enough uh, for all the components that you have. I didn't try. Uh, but yeah, and the similar to that is uh, Robinson Crusoe also doesn't have uh, inserts. So yeah, I mean, I don't think it, it is that, that big of a cost. Maybe I'm wrong, okay? Um, I, and I apologize if I am because yeah, I, I am a noob. But I wonder if it's that that expensive to add um, a next uh, like some a couple of inserts like this just for you to uh, to to tidy up a little bit more. You know, I just I don't know. There was another game that I had inserts for, which was it was a smaller game. Um, hmm. I don't recall. Uh, I know it was a smaller game. Maybe these ones I'll have to put them or rearrange them later. For now, I'll put them there. Oh, there we go. Another one. This, I don't have any on this. This is not green, no. Okay, so I'll put maybe like this. Sorry, I'm not on camera. Let me know, guys, in the comments if this is something that you like uh, to see 
punching all these components. Uh, some people might find it boring. Uh, other people might like. I actually sometimes watch some videos like this. Find it relaxing. So yeah, let me know if it's if it's necessary for you or not, and then uh, that will help me to uh, to create more interesting content. I'm always open to listen to you. So do not hesitate to let me know. Okay. And this goes here. And this goes there. Like this. Tup, 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 tup. They come really nicely. I wonder if I can just put them. Okay, maybe I'll put here the other part. Okay, like that. This one from here. I'm trying to remember what are, what is the game, the other game that is a smaller box, and even that smaller box comes with the um, comes with with this with these components, and I don't remember. I have it. I, I probably if I would see it, I would know. And of course, another game that has amazing inserts, and they even have. Uh, and now on Kickstarter, they were uh, selling it, and I'm actually getting one. Because I know that I will get all that that, that game has to offer, which is um, too many bones, and is the trove loot. And the, the, the trove loot is a box that you can put all the components from all the expansions and all the com uh, all the games of too many bones in one single box. It's a massive thing, but if you have a colix. Uh, I think it's, I believe it's that the name, a Colix uh, shelf from IKEA. It fits there perfectly. So uh, yeah, you you are if if you have all the collection of too many bones, I guess that you cannot go wrong if you get that uh, that extra tool uh, trove uh, tro uh, trove root. I call it trove root. <laughs> the trove chest, not trove root. Trove root is a type of card that you can get in too many bones. Um, So my video stopped recording. I don't really know where I was. Um, so yeah, I'll just continue. Sorry for that, guys. My camera doesn't record more than 20 minutes. So that is a sign that this video is lasting too long. So what I'll probably do now is that I'll skip to the end uh, and I'll show you how all the components were placed into the different inserts. All right. Okay, damn. Well, luckily I I stopped the video because guys, there was, uh, I, I spent some time to eat. And besides that, there was something funny that didn't happen uh, while I was recording and the, which is this falling aside uh, and all the components being there on the side so I had to restructure everything but just this is bothering me so I'm going to put those here but they all fit so as you can see everything fits perfectly they are all separated properly and the only ones that don't fit are these um, bigger ones that will probably uh, fit somewhere else but now I just have to place the covers like so and done so the components are uh, here then probably what I'm going to do is that I'll place the components first and this is just great I mean you you start the game up you place this on the table and you're ready to go and this helps tons tons for you to to put a, a more heavy game on the table because if you don't have everything organized like this you'll never take that game out you you'll never play that game because it takes so much so much time just to prepare everything and this i found just a perfect place for this in there and this one maybe some of them can fit everything fits like this perfect this one will go like this then I have all these boards that can go like here, like 
this and like this. I place the rest in here. Then this one fits like this, like that. The cards that I still didn't open and I will not open because can I maybe put them in here? Will this fit? Just because I don't want the cards to be all over the place. Yeah, maybe they will fit so I can open them right now. Where's my knife? Here. So like that we can see what is in the cards. So, okay. It seems to be some kind of um, profession. Private chef, innkeeper, metal smith, bone collector. So it seems to be uh, professions. All right. So let's put these here nicely in a bag, tidy, like I live. Like the way I like. Let's open this one. And if you are a kid watching this video, do not use the knife the same way I do. Um, collector, farm shop owner, barkeep. So this seems to be also some kind of profession. I don't really know uh, a lot about the game. I've seen some playthroughs, but didn't, I mean, a lot of playthroughs last a long time and didn't really see it uh, until the end. I just want to see the look and feel of the game. Let's take a couple more. All right. I guess more professions. Yeah. More professions. The cards don't have that much art in it. Um, the the boards and the components are the ones that have the art. The cards don't have that much of an art in it, so they are not really the most exciting uh, piece. A piece in terms of art of the of the game, as you can see, it basically just like this. It's not in focus, but. You can see that, yeah, there's no, ah, these are different ones. These are some kind of weapons. Okay. So I'll have to see about these ones. But this I'll explain probably in a review video that will not be immediately done because I still need to play a lot of this game so that I can give a f uh, informant Review and then we put the rest of the bags in here. And since I like things to be tidy, let's put them back in one of the bags and like that. Perfect. Oops. Bag was not closed properly. All right. was not closed properly either. That's the problem with bags. It's that sometimes they just don't close properly and the components get out of hand. Let's clean here a little bit. Hopla. And finally, the almanac, the rule book, the box. And there we go guys, this was the unboxing of this beautiful game, Fists of Odin. Look, this is the most punch board that I had to punch from a game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Thank God it finished in 15 because that's the. Uh, uh, I can only count until 15 in English. So, 15 punch words. This is massive. And yes, the bug is massive. I mean, the bug is massive. The bug is big. The box is big. I'm eating my words. 
But the Mage Knight, for example, is a bigger box. Nemesis is also a bigger box, and there is n not as much of components in it, uh, but as this one. This one is, is now that I see, is a small box with a lot in it. So it's great. I'm really excited to play this game. I know it will take some playthroughs for me to be excited about it because this will take some time to learn. Uh, let's just switch the camera. And so guys, that was it. This was Odin, A Fist for Odin uh, from Ewer Rosenberg. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm sorry uh, for the background noise and I'm sorry that the, the camera cut in the middle of the of the of the recording I uh, will uh, I noticed that it records only 20 minutes a piece so for next time I'll know it and I'll have uh, a, a temporizer so that I know when I have to change the camera uh, for today that was everything that I wanted to show let me know in the comments if you like this kind of unboxing videos like this video if you if you enjoy the content and uh, follow me on Instagram on TikTok and subscribe also to the YouTube channel and I'll be putting a lot of content about unboxing and reviews about board games that I already played. So this was the unboxing of A Fist for Odin. Go check it out. Have a nice one.